Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make stuff on a player screen in Roblox Studio. Now to start, we need to go into Explorer and go into Start a GUI. Here we're going to put a screen GUI in, and what a screen GUI is, is it's basically like something to store stuff that's on a player's screen. And so in here, we can add a bunch of different stuff, as you can see right here. Frames, text buttons, text labels, local scripts, image labels, text boxes, image buttons. Um, you can kind of ignore local scripts, those aren't really a thing here. And so let's say we want to add just a blank box onto a player screen. Well, that's what a frame is. And so you can see, we click on that, and we get this in the corner. Now, we can also change a few things with this. The first thing that I think is important is that you, like, go down here and into your size. And I have a plugin on Roblox that makes it so that the size is automatically like this, where the first value is like a decimal and the second value is zero. However, if you're just starting out with Roblox Studio, you'll have it where you have this, like, a big number here and a big number here. In which case, I suggest you change, set those numbers to zero, and then set these to decimals. And let me show you what that does. If we go into the test tab right here, it'll go in, and then device, we can change what device we're looking at it through. And so we can look in through like iPhones or through like an Xbox One. And you can see that when we have this frame use this value for size, it scales with the screen. However, if we were to go ahead and change it to use the second number for size, and just set these. So if we set it like this on Roblox Studio, it looks the same. But look at how big the look at how big it is on an iPhone. Or if we go into an iPad, it's pretty small. If we go into an Xbox, it's even smaller. It's so tiny. And that's why I suggest you use the decimal instead of the um, pixel count, because that's what that is. Another thing that we can do is change the colors of the stuff, like make this whatever color we want. Then we can set the transparency to whatever we want. You can see it makes it more transparent. We can also add borders, like we can make it 10 pixels, 5 pixels, or just keep it at zero. And that's most of the important things. You can also rotate, which is cool. But let's get to the other stuff that you can do. First, we have the text buttons, which you can click on. And that's basically what they do. You can also change the text, which is extremely useful. You can make it like, click here to buy something. And then boom. You can also change the font size or change the font to a bunch of different things. There's a bunch of different options. You can change um, the color, of course. Basically, everything that you can change in the frame that we went over earlier, you can also change here. You can change bolding, change italics, and that's the important stuff here. The text label is like that, except without the part where you can actually click on it. Then we have images where you can get a decal, and if you select it, you can go right here into this image section and put an ID for an image into there, and then it'll show the image. The image button's just that, except you can also do that with, you can also click on it. And so that's the main stuff. However, there is still some other stuff. Um, so there's this scrolling frame which is like a frame except you can scroll through it, which is very useful for some stuff. It's useful. But um, the one other thing that I want to show you is that if we take a frame, a nice like big frame like this, and we were to go and insert a rounded... Um, wait, no, that's not what it's called. Hold on. Okay, so I found some stuff that I was looking for earlier and you can see we got a bunch of UI things here. We have UI corners which I think is the most useful thing here which basically just adds rounded corners. You can see the rounding on those. There's also some other stuff in here. There's UI padding which 
is really only useful if you're putting a bunch of items inside of a frame. There's video frames, but I don't believe that you can upload videos yet, although that might have changed recently. We also have UI gradients, which I've actually never used before. But, and I don't really know how you, these work, hold on. Oh, it seems pretty simple. So, you just set, like, a color like this, and then it'll make a gradient, which is actually really cool. And, yeah, that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. So, thank you for watching, and bye.